Instead of the planned 30,000 Ethereum, they siphoned out 401,000, worth approximately one and a half billion dollars. The withdrawal happened in stages, but hackers moved with precision and speed. They knew the exchange had only a few hours to detect the attack. The stolen funds immediately began moving across the blockchain. First, they were transferred to a primary wallet, then quickly split into smaller amounts and distributed across 40 additional wallets. The money was then further divided into hundreds and thousands of transactions via cryptocurrency mixers and decentralized exchanges. This multi-layered laundering process made tracking nearly impossible. Bybit's leadership ordered an immediate shutdown of its main wallets, managing to freeze only a small fraction of the stolen funds. But it was already too late. The hackers had successfully pulled off the largest cryptocurrency heist in history, stealing one and a half billion dollars. Bybit promptly launched an internal investigation. Security engineers scrambled to determine how the hackers had bypassed all layers of protection. But the answer was clear. The hackers never broke into the servers. They simply manipulated Bybit employees into approving the transfers themselves.